Aquarius, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Aquarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, major opportunities. Right now, you got the Strength card. You also got the uh, Four of Pentacles. Right now, your angels are telling you that this is it's an essential time because they're going to bring you some sort of financial relief, right? Maybe you've been waiting for that line of credit, that more mortgage, that loan, that promotion, bonus, inheritance, something big. Maybe you're looking to buy a house, but they're going to bring in the opportunity to accumulate this wealth in the form of a download. You're going to be like, wow, what a brilliant idea. I should totally do this, right? Now, when this comes, you got to understand your vibrations speak louder than your words. All they want is your vibes, your emotions to match your expectations, and you'll be able to deliver this message. Your angels and guides, they only speak to you in the form of feelings or images, rarely words. In order for you to get this download aha moment of clarity of what your next move should be, all you have to do is understand you got to show up, right? And by showing up, it means that you have to feel the event before it takes place. And I'll give you an example. Imagine right now your angels want to throw you a birthday party. They're telling you, we'll get the cake, we'll get the presents, we'll get the entertainment, we'll call your friends and family. All you have to do is show up. What a good deal. Now, the same thing applies here. They're telling you, we're going to bring someone in your life that's going to show you, mentor you, guide you how to make money, something that you're looking for. But all we need you to do is feel how that feels before it happens. It's, 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 it's celebrating the victory before it happens. And by tapping into that energy, by transforming, right? Butterfly spirit, your transformation is beautiful. By really understanding that the, the, the rules to manifesting are completely different than the rules of the third dimension. You have to celebrate the victory before, that's when it happens. So I'll give you an example. Imagine I want a promotion, right? What I would do is I would visualize myself walking into my boss's office and them saying, congratulations, Vince, you got the promotion. In a five second clip, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Then I would attach my feelings to it. I would feel the event before it happens. I'd be like, ah, oh, I feel so good I did it. Ah, oh, I feel so good I did it. Now, after I did these two things, it's over. I'm going to allow the universe to do its job. I'm going to be like, okay, universe, I thank you in advance. I told you what I want by visualizing it. I felt it before it happened. So basically I, I confirmed this. Now I'm going to let you go do your thing. And then I would take my mind, my thoughts, my energy, and I would go for a walk or go see my friends or go grocery shopping, something completely different. And I would not at all be like, where is this? When's it coming? Why is it not coming? I would place my order and set it and forget it. There's no more resistance here. That's what you're being told right now. Let go of the resistance, right? then it will take place. Now, very interesting. You have the six of wands and you also have the high priestess. Right now, spirit is telling you that you're on the cusp of a major celebration. Victory is around the corner and all you have to do is just tap into your higher self in order for this to happen, which means align with positivity and attract prosperity. Right now, you are, you are on the cusp of something very, very big happening. Some sort of major transformation taking place in your life and there's going to be some sort of new breath of fresh air, new opportunity, fun, joy, and excitement about to take place. Right now, by tapping into your higher self, what you're doing is you're telling your angels and guides, you are ready for this to take place. What does this mean? Dream the world into being lizard spirit. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you, you're doing all the right things in the third dimension, but there's money on the table we're not tapping into. Like for example, like you gotta understand, like you're making action steps, you're, you're pushing buttons, you're like telling yourself, okay, I'm going to go work out, I'm gonna go eat right, I'm gonna go make sure that I, you know, uh, focus on my job, my career, and make sure that I'm better. That's great, but that's 50% of it. The other 50% is tapping into your quantum energy, really, really understanding that in order for you to attract what you're looking for, you have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations, because your life is a reflection of your thoughts. You know, Nicholas Tesla said it best. If you want to know the secrets of the universe, don't think of things of don't don't think in terms of you know stuff that you can hold in your hand. Don't think of solid matter. Like, don't worry about what your eyes can see. Worry about what your what your eyes can't see. Like, can you see a manifestation? Can you see a visualization? Can you see energy? No. Like, can you see text messages? No. But they're right before your eyes. Can you see oxygen, gravity? Right. So it exists, but you just can't see it. So right now, in order for you to get what you're looking for, all you have to do is trust in the great mystery, right? What I would do if I was you is I would grab a pen and paper 
and I would start connecting to my higher self. I would write down, hello, higher self, how are you? I didn't even know that we can communicate. I just wanna let you know that I love you. I'm fully aware that you're here to help me. And from this day forward, I fully invite you to participate in my life by showing me images, feelings, thoughts, synchronicities, choices, anything. I want you to let, guide me and I give you permission to do so. I love you so much. I'll chat with you later, bye. That's it. That's all you gotta do, right? Acknowledge your higher self exists. Write it down because the pen is just one of the most powerful things ever and then your higher self will be able to through free will because you invited them help and guide you and by being loyal to what you love dog spirit now the abundant universe will flow to you because you have such a grateful heart right you thank them in advance for happening rather than wishing wanting hoping needing you commanded assumed expected it to take place now very interesting we got the two uh, pentacles and you also have the Ten of Pentacles, you're being told right now that there's a major, you know, inspired action that's about to take place for you. You're going to be able to monetize a passion, which really means like accumulate wealth, doing something you love. But in order for this to happen, first and foremost, that Two of Pentacles energy of being decisive is necessary, right? Understand that when you practice self-discipline, you will not have regret. Self-discipline means watch what you are saying to yourself, right? This is so important. Your mind is always eavesdropping what you say to yourself or what you think to yourself. So when you're like, oh man, I'm so lost, I'm so confused, then your mind is hearing that. That's, that's good, that impression is gonna go into the subconscious, which, which is gonna be expressed, right? Last thing you're looking for. Right now, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Understand you could use this to your benefit. Tell yourself powerful affirmations like, I am confident, I am lovable, I am approachable, I am coachable, I am someone who you know is funny, I am witty, I am charming, I am sexy, whatever you want. But say these things out loud, right? Think these things and allow the universe to guide and help you by casting that spell, because that's really what you're doing when you're thinking of something. Now you got the four of cups and the hang woman. And right now you're being told to get grounded. Being grounded, you know, your intuition is gonna take off. And now you're gonna know exactly what to do. Like your next moves will be effortless. Everything will be in the flow state and you'll be in alignment. And kindness, which is never wasted, being kind to yourself. And right now source is telling you that the past is a lesson. When you are grounded and intuitive, you're able to find that lesson immediately. Whoa, which is stag spirit, take the lead. And you're going to be able to use that lesson for the future. Remember, everything happens for a reason. If, for example, you dated someone and you broke up, it was so you see what you want and what you don't want. If, so, for example, you started a business and it wasn't successful, it was for you to figure out, you know, how to, you know, make sure your expenses are not too high, your overhead, right? So right now your angels and guys are telling you, for example, this is a time to ask yourself, what was the lesson in this situation? And then you'll be able to put that lesson behind you. So for, rather than be like, oh man, I wasted my time, you could be like, what was the lesson? Oh, I understood. I started the business. I hired too many people. The overhead was high. I, what I should have done was, you know, you know, I should have, you know, maybe they didn't rent a location that was so expensive. Boom. Okay. Now, by learning that lesson, you can put that behind you. Oh, gotcha. I understand. Rather than, oh, I'm so silly. You know, why did I do this? Alrighty, Corey, it's time for your affirmation. This is exactly how you attract money and love into your life. I want you to write down the following words in the comment section. Write down, instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. What you're doing is you're telling your angels and guys, I have learned this lesson. I don't need to learn this anymore. And to bring me some sort of new prosperous opportunity, write this down in the comment section exactly as you see here. Instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain, right? Let your angels and guides know you've learned this lesson and now you're putting it behind you. One more time, instead of focusing on the anger, I focus on healing the pain. Write that down in the comment section and give this video a like and let your angels and guides know that you are ready to have abundance into your life, which is truly your birthright. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Right now your spirit guides want you to know. Whoa. It's not as if you need anyone. Look at that right now. And your spirit guides are telling you, for as long as you wish to keep them in your life, whoever they may be, understanding them as opposed to changing them will wildly improve the chances that they'll wish to keep you in their life. On the other hand, you're pretty much stuck with me. Oh, wow, I love you. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you, see the the good in people. Like for example, imagine if you have a spouse and your spouse is like not washing the dishes. Okay, rather than be like, oh, they don't wash the dishes, think about how much they love you, how they how they do everything in their power to make sure that you're taken care of and whatever, you know what I mean? Or imagine you have a friend, imagine your friend has an annoying habit, imagine they like, pick their teeth and you're like, Ugh. but imagine like your, your friend, that person's always there for you. You call them in the middle of the night, they'll show up, you know, you gotta look and see the good in people and that right there is showing the universe that you are ready for more and abundance will come. 
Alrighty, Chris, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.